Uh, this is Reverend Robert Wansala, the Desan Youth Coordinator from Bali Diocese. And uh, today we are sharing uh, from uh, St. Paul's letter to the Romanis, chapter 5. And we are going to look at the theme of endurance uh, in suffering. Uh, the scripture uh, reads, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into his grace, in which we stand and we exult in hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance. And perseverance a proven character, and proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit in who we was given uh, to us. So this is the portion that we have uh, to share this day. Remember, uh, friends, that we are living in a time of tribulation, the time of COVID-19 or coronavirus, where people of God are living in the tribulation. Many of the people have lost hope. Many of the people are even asking questions where the Lord lives. Many people are even questioning, the atheists are questioning the Christians whether their God lives. But I want to say that there is nothing that comes without the knowledge of God. So, this is the suffering that we pass through. But the suffering that we pass through has a purpose. If su suffering is supposed to be good for us, because many times we, the Christians, believe suffering can come from God. But how can it come from God? If suffering is supposed to be good for us, we naturally want to ask, what good does it bring? The answer Suffering produces perseverance. If we read from James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, suffering brings about perseverance. In any case, when we suffer, we become stronger as believers than before. In the Bible history, we know that the church of God has grown more during the time of tribulation than the time of peace. More in time of tribulation than the time when people are enjoying. The church of God grows. Even when the world is cropped into war, the war zones are cropped into more worship than in the peace zones. So, when we suffer, we do persevere. There are two kinds of suffering. One kind we bring on ourselves by our own foolishness and sin. This kind of suffering is hard to rejoice in. When we ourselves bring suffering on ourselves, it is too hard for us to rejoice in this one. This kind of suffering is hard. Nevertheless, we must remember that such suffering is really discipline from God. When we go away from God, when we run away from his teachings, when we run away from his commandments, suffering comes on us. And when it comes on us, it is God disciplining us and we must accept it. The second kind of suffering is the one in which we endure our righteousness. 
we endure our righteousness. We suffer for the sake of Christ. We are abused. We are defamed for the sake of Christ. If we do get defamed because of the gospel, if we are persecuted because of the gospel, we take it all as the goodness of God. Because by his stripes, we were healed. So we as believers, we as preachers, we as Christians, when we do suffer for the righteousness, then we take it with joy. Therefore, we need to persevere in verse 4 of Romans chapter 5. Perseverance produces character. That is, perseverance makes our character stronger and more mature. Friends, even in this period of COVID-19, those who persevere, those who remain in the faith, those who will not despair, will come out joyous. Let us not hope or think that God has gone out of his way. We must persevere because in perseverance, our character is made stronger and mature. Friends, I have seen this period. People are praying more than before. Family altars have been established. And those ones that had already been established have become stronger and stronger. The faith of our people, the faith of the homes, the faith of children has grown stronger than ever before. We find that children are leading worship in families. We find that the fathers who have been absentee fathers are back home. They are now even understanding how their homes are running. They are even understanding how their wives behave in their absence. They have also have to uh, come to discover the real character of their children. Because remember, children were living most in schools than at home. At home, they would be there for two weeks and at school for four months. But now the parents, in this perseverance, are understanding the real nature of their children. So, in any case, as we read verse 4 of chapter 5 of Romans, perseverance produces character. That is, perseverance makes our character stronger and mature. And I do believe that after this COVID-19, the church is going to grow more than ever before. Because the people who used to sit behind in the pews will demand to also give testimony in the church. Because they have learned a lot during uh, their family altars. And we have also come to understand what our children think about us. Because when we say let us walk in the light, the children are also now telling us what they demand from us. They are telling us, Daddy, Mommy, we also don't enjoy this. It means that the family bond is being uh, uh, restructured. So, friends, I want to end by saying, let us not despair, simply because we are suffering. When we endure in this suffering, we shall come out of this stronger than ever before. For endurance brings success. And success in all kinds. I have even seen that during this COVID-19, even there is home development. People are even digging and having crops. They are having food. People are constructing houses. People are having more time for whatever they had put as prayer requests and as year resolution is. This is a time that has bound them together. So friends, let us endure in this period. Let us be faithful in this period. Let us remain with good character in this period. Let us wait upon the Lord for a miracle. Who knows? God is about to speak. May the good Lord bless you all.